Learners and leaders, I am so glad that you're here today. We are gonna play with our food. Actually, we're gonna paint with our food. You wanna paint with some food? Come on, let's go. For the past couple weeks, we have been reading Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs by Judy and Ron Barrett. This book is all about a town called Chew and Swallow where food falls from the sky. All the weather comes in the form of food. It rains syrup and it snows mashed potatoes. The sunsets are made out of jello. What we're gonna do today is take some of the veggies that we might have had fall out of the sky on us if we were in Chew and Swallow and we're gonna paint with them. Let's talk about what we need to paint with our food. First, we need food. I'm gonna use some celery, cauliflower, lemon or lime, lemon, bell pepper, and this cool thing called a horn fruit. I'm excited to see what that looks like when we paint with it. And then we also need some art paper, paint, brushes, and we'll need a cutting board and a knife as well. Okay, before we can paint our vegetables, what we need to do is cut them in half to expose their insides. We're gonna cut this horn fruit. I've never cut a horn fruit before. I'm not even sure what it looks like on the inside. Let's see. Look at how funky that is. I'm excited to see what kind of a print that makes. We're gonna go ahead and cut our line. Before we can paint our food, we have to get our paint ready. What I'm gonna do is just spray my paint on my sheet that's protecting my surface. You can spray it on a palette or um, a paper plate. You can reuse like a mushroom tray, whatever you have around that your grown up wants you to use. Now that our paint's ready, we're gonna paint on our vegetables. All right, should we do a yellow lemon? I'm gonna start by brushing the paint on. Another thing you might experiment with is different ways to get your paint on. What if I dipped this lemon in the paint? What would that look like? Okay, so see how it's painted? I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on there. It's painted. Now what I'm gonna do is put it on my paper. And we have a circle. Look at that. I am using pretty thick paper, but if you used um, a thinner paper like wrapping paper or like the backside of wrapping paper or butcher paper, you could use this to wrap gifts with. Let's try another one. Let's see if there's enough paint on there to put another on. And see how it's not as prevalent as this one because we had already used it. That's our second print. Now let's do our celery. This is a really fun shape. That takes the paint a little bit easier. It's not quite as wet. So that's something to keep in mind is that those wet vegetables don't take the paint quite as well. Doesn't mean you can't use them. You just need to be aware of what you're going to get. All right, guys, are we ready? Watch this. Look at that, it kind of looks like a rose. Let's put whoops, maybe a little stem on there. A little leaf, little leaf right there. So I can choose to either leave these just like they are or I can add details. And that's totally up to me because I'm the artist. All right, let's do our, let's do our bell pepper now. And we're going to really put a lot of paint on here. Okay, should we see what it looks like? Let's put it right here. It kind of looks like a clover leaf, right? And one thing I want you to think about 
is all the different areas that you can paint on your vegetable and all the different textures that you can get. So we painted one side of the bell pepper. Let's paint the other side and see what that looks like. And again, if you want, you can dip your paint, your bell pepper in your paint. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Oh, that just made little polka dots. They kind of look like cheetah spots. All right, let's do it with our horn fruit. First thing I want to do is paint the horn fruit itself. Paint the inside. I'm feeling a little tentative about this because that lemon didn't take the paint super great and this one is wet too. But we'll just see what happens. Okay, you ready? And put it over here. Oh, look, we have some little seeds in there. Yee! Okay, then I want to paint the outside and see what it looks like when I do the outside. What do you think is going to happen, learners and leaders? I think that we're going to get little tiny dots where the horns are. But we'll see. We'll see if we're, we'll test our hypothesis. And we did! We got big polka dots from our bell pepper and little polka dots from our horn fruit. All right, one more thing, and I think I'm gonna get a fresh sheet of paper for this one. Okay, we are gonna paint this entire cauliflower center purple. We'll see, let's see what happens there. Look at how cool that looks. Let's see, I'm gonna clear my cauliflowers that kinda sprinkled off, put those on. Ready, here we go. Ooh, that's funky and different. Okay, now something I want you to think about. Again, we talked about using all the different textures. What if I took this and dipped it in the paint? What does that look like? It looks different, right? That's a way to get a different texture. All right. Learners and leaders, thanks for coming along with me today. Isn't it fun to play with your food? Imagine what playtime would look like if we lived in Chew and Swallow. Oof, probably a little sticky. Go ahead and if you want more activities to do with Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, have your grown-ups go to my website. I'll put the link in the description and they can find the Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs activity packs. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can come along next time and share with a friend so they can come along too. Have a great day learners and leaders.